Chris Harvey, equity analyst at Wells Fargo. And I know you don't talk individual names, Chris, but earlier Dom Chu was saying there was an implied 9% move either way on Netflix. That doesn't sound small to me, 9% either way. No, no, it's not a, it's not a, a small move. But, but really what we want to talk about is not so much the one individual reaction, but, but the real reaction over time. And, and what we've seen over time is, is a much more traditional reaction to earnings. What we're seeing is beats. When you have a beat, they are reacting positively. When you have a miss, they are re reacting pretty, pretty negatively. That wasn't true last quarter about this time. And, and so what we're seeing is, is a more rational approach to, to earnings at this point. We've seen a lot of fear mongering coming into earnings. People expecting margins to come down, mm. uh, uh, greatly um, numbers being slashed, so on and so forth. We do think margins are going to be compressed. We do think numbers are going to come down but we think there's been too much fear mongering and, and people are expecting too much too soon. And, and so once again, what we think we're gonna get by the end of this earnings season is a situation where things aren't as bad as fear. They're not great, but they're just not as bad as fear. Okay, well, you just heard us talk about the, the stock, the, the price, target price of 300 and kind of just said, listen, not much we can do with the stock right now. Your, well, Wells Fargo's S&P 500 estimate is 40-20. That's about 3% from where we are now. So if that's the case, it sounds like you guys are kind of saying that most of the gains for the year may have already been made. And it's like January 18th. Yeah, again, I, I, don't, I don't particularly comment being the head of equity strategy. I don't comment on an individual stock. I leave that to our fundamental analyst. I, I know he's constructive on the name. He's got more positive no, on I, it. I'm sorry, I meant the S&P 500. Your, your target on the S&P 500 is oh. 4,020. But the, the S&P 500 is at 3,900. It's only 3% 3 move. So I'm just wondering, are most of the gains for the year already baked in? What are we going to do for the next 11 months, Chris? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> right, I, I think there's a little bit of miscommunication. W what we've been saying is in the short term, we think fair value for the S&P 500 is in and around 4,000. Our year-end price target is 4,200. And we do think at some point we're going to get down to 3,400. Right, so we think the year is going to end on a positive note, but we're going to have a lot of volatility between here and there. And, and what we're saying in, in the here and the now is we got to 4,000. Looks like the market needs to take a breather. You had rates go down pretty aggressively here. You've had risk being well bought. You've had a lot of short covering. And, and now we think you know, before we have the blackout with the Fed, you're going to get a little bit more hawkish rhetoric. And so it makes sense that the market should probably trade sideways to down in the short term. But and we'll have a lot of volatility before year end. But ultimately, we do end higher. We think it's forty two hundred. Okay. So, de but could trade down to thirty four hundred. So help me That's out. Right. I'm a little of a ding dong. What's the difference between fair value at forty yeah. twenty and price target of forty two hundred? Yeah. So, so our fair value is just based on where we see interest rates right now, based on where we see credit spreads right now, based on where we see the risk premium. Where do we think the equity market should trade in the short term? Short term meaning next couple of weeks, um, next month or so, not so much a 12 month price target, right? And, and typically what happens is as rates go down, credit spreads tighten, that fair value goes up and vice versa. We start to see credit spreads widen, rates go up, then that fair, fair value goes down. And it's just something that we use with a lot of our traders and, and some of our short term players just to say where we think the market is um, from a, a a trading point of view, not okay. so much that long-term 12-month point of view. Got it. But we could trade down to 3,400. I think that's that's maybe the takeaway. And maybe, by the way, good if you're playing in the options market. Chris Harvey, really appreciate your views. Thank you.